اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم I seek the protection of Allah against the devil. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امر ویلو لگدتم من لسانی یفقہو قولی O my Lord, open for me my chest. Grant me the self-confidence, contentment and boldness and make loose the knot from my tongue that they understand my speech. السلام علیکم May peace, blessings and mercy of Allah be upon you and to all the messengers of Allah and in particular on the noble and the final messenger Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, his family and his companions. In this video, we will be learning about the section A, Business Acumen of the CIA Part 3 Business Knowledge for Internal Auditing. Plan and its purpose. A company's plan serves as its guide for the activities and the decisions made by the individuals throughout the entire organization. The planning process defines the company's objectives and goals and it also sets the stage for prioritizing how to develop, communicate and carry out accomplishing them. Relationship between the profits and the shareholders value. Profits of the company are directly proportional to the shareholders value. The higher the profits, the higher the shareholders value. Superior performance. Result of attaining superior performance will be a competitive advantage. Competitive advantage is a benefit a company has over its competitors that it gains by offering consumers higher value than they can get from its competitors. Competitive Advantage Competitive advantage is derived from the attributes that enable an organization to outperform its competitors such as access to natural resources, highly skilled personnel, a favorable geographic location and high entry barriers and so forth. A strategic Planning Process the formal strategic planning process consists of the five steps as follows. Define the company's mission, vision, values and goals or developing its mission statement. The company's mission statement provides the context within which its strategies will be formulated. Analyzing the organization's external competitive environment to identify opportunities and threats. Analyzing the internal operating environment to identify the strengths, weaknesses and limitations of the organization. Formulating and selecting strategies that consistent with the organization's mission and goals will optimize its strengths and correct its weaknesses and limitations of external opportunities while countering external threats. Developing and Implementing the Chosen Strategies Mission The company's mission is the reason to be of its existence. Vision A vision is a statement of the desired future state. A good vision statement should challenge the company by stating an ambitious future state that will motivate employees at all levels and drive the strategies that the company's management will formulate and implement to achieve the vision. Organizational Values Organizational values describe how managers and employees should behave and do business. A company's values are the foundation of its organizational culture. The organizational culture consists of the values, norms and standards that govern how the company's employees work to achieve the company's mission and the goals. Goal A goal is a precise and measurable future state that the company wants to achieve. The purpose of goal setting is to specify what needs to be done to attain its mission and the vision. Well-constructed goals provide a means for the manager's performance to be evaluated. Goals or objectives shall be SMART where S stands for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic and T for time bounded. 
opportunities and threats opportunities and threats exist in the environment opportunities arise when companies can leverage external conditions to develop and implement strategies that will make them more profitable threats include conditions in the external environment that pose a danger to the profitability environments interrelation three environments should be examined and the three environments are interrelated number 1 examine the industry in which the company operates as other companies in the same industry are a company's closest competitors number 2 analyze the country or the political environment in which the company operates and the international environment including domestic and international political risk and the globalizations impact on competition within the industry number 3 assess the macro environment in which the company operates including macro economic factors such as economic growth and recession that will affect the industry or the economy as a whole interest rates currency exchange rates and social factors such as the laws and the regulations and the technological factors internal purpose analysis the purpose of internal analysis is to identify strengths weaknesses and limitations within the organization the company's resources and capabilities need to be assessed strengths lead to the superior performance weaknesses and the limitations led to the inferior performance strategy the primary objective of a strategy is to create a sustained competitive advantage because that will lead to superior profitability and profit growth competitive advantage creation a firm creates the competitive advantage when it can use its resources and its capabilities to achieve either a differentiation advantage or a cost advantage or both to create superior value for its customers and excellent profits for the company a differentiation advantage creates value for a firm's customers because it provides its customers with benefits that exceed those offered by the firm's competitors a differentiation advantage gives the firm more flexibility in pricing because it can price its product or service higher than its competitors prices leading to greater profits than the competition a cost advantage creates the same value and benefits for the firm's customers as its competitors do but at a lower cost leading to higher profits than the competition generic distinctive competencies the four generic distinctive competencies are superior efficiency efficiency is the relationship between the inputs and the outputs the more efficient the company is the fewer inputs will be required to produce a given result therefore superior efficiency leads to the lower cost leading to the higher profitability and the competitive advantage superior quality a product has the superior quality when customers consider that its attributes give them the higher utility than the competing products attributes offering excellent quality enables the company to charge a higher price than the competitors for its product leading to the higher profits superior innovation Innovation is the creation of new products or the new processes. Product innovation creates value by developing products that customers perceive as having more utility and thus the company's pricing options for the products are increased. Process innovation can create value by decreasing costs. Superior customer responsiveness. Superior customer responsiveness occurs when a company can do a better job than its competitors in identifying customer needs and satisfying them customers attribute more utility to the product and this 
more excellent utility differentiates the product from that of the competition. Customer response time or the time required to deliver a product or perform a service is also an essential aspect of the customer responsiveness. SWOT analysis. SWOT stands for the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The purpose of SWOT analysis is to optimize the organization's strengths and minimize its weaknesses to take advantage of the external opportunities while countering the external threats. Classifications of the strategy. The general classifications of strategies considered are functional level strategy. Functional level strategy to improve the operations inside the company. These operations include manufacturing, marketing, materials management, product development, and customer service. Business level strategy includes the business position in the marketplace and different positioning strategies that could be used. Some examples are cost leadership, differentiation, focusing on a particular marketing niche or segment or a combination of more than one of these. Global strategy or considering how to expand operations outside the home country. Corporate level strategy considering what business or businesses the company should be in to maximize its long run profitability and the profit growth. SWOT analysis enables the management to choose among possible business models and to fine tune the business model selected. Strategic planning. Strategic planning should be an ongoing process. It should be integrated into the organization as a core business practice that keeps the company focused on its strategic direction. Strategies should be long term in nature. However, the plan should be flexible enough to enable the company to respond to the change or the new opportunity. Strategic planning process. Employees at all levels should have input into the strategic planning process. Although top management must take the lead and make the final decisions. Input should not be limited to senior management. Sometimes the best ideas for change come from the lower level managers, engineers or customer service employees because those people are closest to what is going on. Furthermore. The inclusion of lower level managers and employees in the planning process promotes their understanding and ownership of the plan, motivates them to participate in its implementation and perceives that the decision making process is fair and inclusive. Strategy communication. The strategy should be communicated clearly on often to everyone in the organization. The strategy should be viewed as a roadmap to take the firm from vision to reality. The strategic planning process should be viewed as an opportunity to develop a shared vision, increase the sense of the joint ownership among the staff, and build a leadership team focused on moving the business in the right direction. Merits of the planning Objectives are formally expressed and the methods of attaining the objectives are clearly defined. The plan focuses employees' attention on the company's stated objectives and facilitates the coordination of efforts. If the plans are correctly communicated throughout the organization, employees may feel more motivated to carry them out. When planning is done in advance, risk and uncertainty can be minimized. Backup plans can be prepared and decisions can be made in a measured, disciplined manner rather than spontaneously. Planning can improve a company's competitive advantage. The company can plan and find the best prices for resources it needs and it can use those resources more effectively, leading to the reduced cost and higher profitability. Planning helps the company to efficiently effect changes in the procedures, product line, and the facilities. Planning provides the objectives against which the actual performance can be measured, facilitating control. The merits of the planning. 
Planning is time consuming and costly. The services of outside professionals such as accountants and marketing experts may be needed and the planning process itself takes the manager's time away from other responsibilities. The cost versus the benefits needs to be weighed before embarking upon a complex planning process. Following a plan too rigidly can cause the business to be unable to adapt to new threats or take advantage of new opportunities. Plans can hinder the manager's creativity and innovation if they are not flexible enough to accommodate changes that new ideas may suggest. Planning is based on the forecast that may be inaccurate. A significant variance between the actual circumstances and the planned circumstances such as in planned recession, natural disaster, labor strike or technological change may cause the plan to become ineffective or unworkable. Excessive reliance on a plan in the face of obviously changed circumstances can cause severe problems. Goal congruence Goal congruence is defined as aligning the individual manager's goal with the organization's goal as a whole. Goal congruence means that the individuals and the organization segments are all working together to achieve their goals. It also means that managers who are working on behalf of their own best interests are taking actions that accomplish the overall goals of the company's senior management. It is essential to evaluate the manager's achievement of goals that benefit the company, not on goals that benefit only their own departments or their divisions. Feedback timing The feedback timing is important because feedback that is not received in a timely manner is not valuable. The feedback's proper timing depends on who should receive the information, the importance of the information, and the feedback content. Revenue driver Anything that creates revenue is a revenue driver. Units of output sold, selling prices, and marketing activities are all examples of the revenue drivers. Financial performance measurement, return on investment ROI and residual income RI are the primary means of segment financial information measurement. Return on investment. Return on investment can be used to evaluate the entire firm's performance but it can also be used to assess the performance of single divisions and their division managers. ROI is the key performance measure for an investment center. Measures the percentage of return earned on the investment amount, that is assets. The formula for ROI is ROI is equal to the income of the business unit divided by the assets of the business unit. This learning video is made from my book CIA Part 3 Business Knowledge for Internal Auditing 2021. The link to subscribe the same is presented in the description of the video. Also supplement your practice of CIA Part 3 by subscribing the CIA Part 3 Test Bank Questions of the 2021. Feel free to ask any questions relating to the studies through the WhatsApp or through email. May Allah, Lord of the heavens and the earth, bless you in this world and in particular in the life hereafter. Ameen. Have a nice day. With love and care, Allah Hafiz.